Hey Shrimoy, how have you been? How's college going? Hey Varna, college is good. Actually, our college was planning to celebrate Social Justice Day in the upcoming days to spread awareness about it. Oh really? That sounds interesting. What is social justice about? Well, social justice is a political and philosophical theory that focuses on the concept of fairness in the relations between individuals in the society and equal access to opportunities and wealth and social privileges. Diversity and equality are ideas that simply cannot be ignored. But by pursuing social justice and working to make these ideas more prominent in the society, we can be healing many of the divisions that are plaguing our country. After what I just told you, what do you think should be the objectives of social justice? Oh, I see. Then according to me, the basic objectives of social justice should be fight injustice and discrimination and to establish the rule of law, provide legal services to the vulnerable groups and to develop a conceptual based training methodology for human rights of various kinds. Well, I think you got a pretty good idea of what social justice is. It is very sad to see that we see examples of social injustice almost every day. Almost every day we read about issues like voting rights and racial injustice in the newspapers. Voting rights is one of the most basic rights of a citizen of a country and people still don't have access to it and their votes are still being manipulated by different parties. And racism has a very long history in India and its impact can be found in almost every facet of education, media, business and day-to-day life. Almost all social workers are all too aware of the devastating impacts in the mental and physical health of individuals because of racial injustice. Yeah, and we see examples of it in our daily lives as well, like poverty, which is a pressing issue for human rights and social injustice, not only to men, but also women and children in India and abroad lack access to housing and food, but many also lack access to basic human necessity of clean water. Almost everyone is well aware of various injustices happening around but between all this chaos there have been many movements and initiatives to curb this and they have been successful to a large extent like the person which first comes in my mind is none other than Kailash Satyarthi he is a globally renowned social activist who has actively worked for the enforcement of children rights and education he founded Bachpan Bachao Andolan through which thousands of children were rescued from child labor, slavery and trafficking in India. Also, we must talk about Medha Patkar, who is a well-known social activist who is known for working on crucial issues like the political and economic issues of farmers, laborers, tribals, Dalits and women facing social injustice. She dedicated her life to social welfare from a very young age and has fought against issues like casteism, communalism and other forms of discrimination. She launched the Narmada Bachao Andolan and founded the National Alliance of People's Movement with other activists. And not to forget about the acid attack survivor Lakshmi Agrawal, who is also a well-known social activist in the country who campaigns against acid attacks. She now works for rehabilitating and supporting other acid attack survivors. She also advocated against the free sale of acid in India. Last but not the least, we must mention Priti Bharti who is an activist who is known for working on the abolishment of child marriages in India and who works for providing social justice to women. She founded the Sarthi Trust, an organization that mainly works on the annulment of child marriages. A society can successfully end social issues if they become adamant. These issues act as a barrier to the progress of society. We all must come together to fight against them and put them to an end for the greater good. Thank you.